And today I'm going to show you how to pickle red onions. So this is a quick pickle, meaning that it actually is not going through the fermentation process. We're going to use some vinegar to add um, the fermented um, ingredients that will give it a nice tang and allow it to preserve um, in your refrigerator. And the amazing thing about this recipe is how quickly it comes together. So let me tell you about this. All we have here is a sliced red onion, not too thinly sliced because you want it to have some heft when you're going to be using it. And I'll talk about ways to use it later. Some water, some apple cider vinegar, if you don't have apple cider vinegar, you can use other vinegars. Um, I like it because it's kind of mild and um, not too acidic compared to white vinegar, but that would be fine in a pinch. The other best choice I think would be an Asian rice vinegar because that's also quite mild in flavor. A little bit of kosher salt and a little bit of sugar. So the first step is just to make our uh, pickling liquid. So we're gonna pour together our water, sugar, salt, and our vinegar. And we're gonna bring that to a boil. So you can see in just a few minutes, this came to a rapid boil. I'm gonna stir it just to make sure all my solids are dissolved, which they are, and then I'm gonna take off the power. And now we're ready to do the next important step of pickling our onions. So let me just move my stove out of the way. And we have our red onions here. And all you're gonna do, I mean, there's really nothing to this, is pour the pickling liquid, which again is water, sugar, salt, and apple cider vinegar, um, to submerge your sliced onions. All right, so just like that, that's all you do. And then, the next step is putting something that's slightly smaller than your bowl to weigh down the onions so they stay submerged. And then you have to wait. So we're gonna wait about an hour, um, longer, even better. You'll see them change from this kind of purple and white uh, striped appearance uh, to become more and more kind of fuchsia or hot pink. Let's check on the pickles. This is one hour later. All right, let's see what they look like. You see how now they're now kind of getting kind of fuchsia-y and more solid looking. Um, they're pretty good to have right now, but they'll be even better if we wait another hour or so, or even overnight. So let's check them again. So here are our finished pickled red onions after about two hours of pickling. You can see that beautiful hot pink color. Um, and now they're ready to either use or to keep in a jar in the refrigerator until you're ready to use them up. Um, you'll want to drain them, just take them out with a fork before you use them to top or garnish almost anything. Of course, they're great on tacos. They are fantastic on salads, grain bowls. Um, you can put them on sandwiches, anywhere where you'd like a vinegary punch of flavor contrast as well as a beautiful color contrast and they're a great introduction to the world of quick pickling.